a coalition of six political parties has served notice to embark on a series of protests to put pressure on the Electoral Commission to rescind its decision to compile a new voters register. At the news conference in Accra, spokesperson of the Interparty Resistance Against the New Voters Register and founder of ACP, Dr. Hassan Ayariga, insisted the reasons for which the EC wants to compile a new register were unjustified and a waste of state resources. The parties comprise the All People's Congress, APC, National Democratic Congress, NDC, United People's Party, UPP, United Front Party, UFP, and People's National Convention, PNC, according to the group demonstrations dubbed Yempene, which translates into We Won't Agree, would be staged in major cities starting from Tamale on January 11, Kumase on January 21, and Accra on January 28. Spokesperson of the group and founder and leader of the All People's Congress, Hassan Ayariga, said there was no need to spend taxpayers' money on a new voters' register. We hold the view that any attempt to spend an additional CD on Ghana taxpayers' money on a new register will amount to complete risky, needless spending of limited state resources. We call all to join the Yem Clinic Declaration across the country. The inter-party resistance against the new voter register shall embark on a series of public manifestations across the country. Therefore, whoever you are, wherever you are, you can't miss the opportunity to be part of history. He asked the EC to consider the interest of the people above all considerations, adding the media, civil society organizations, diplomats and foreign missions to join the coalition to resist any attempt by the EC and the government to compile a new voters register for this year's elections. Join us in this massive movement to resist this fictitious agenda to deny the people's mandate at the expense of the taxpayer. The Jane Mensah-led EC and the government must be reminded that the sovereignty of Ghana resides in the people. At least, the history of this country has provided ample evidence and the fact that the people's power, when tried or suppressed, it was stronger in range like fire. General Secretary of the NDC, Johnson Isiedun Ketia, says after using the current voters register to successfully elect about 6,600 district assembly members and about 33,000 unit committee members, it was clear there was nothing wrong with it. How can the register be credible for district assembly elections and within two weeks it becomes bloated? <laughs> Who added the bloating? They are keeping the register. So it does not lie in the mouth of Electoral Commission to talk about bloating at all. Because I remember when this debate about bloating started in 2012, Electoral Commission's position has been very consistent. And it has been that the register is not bloated. From Afarijan to Charlotte to Jim Mensa, they have all maintained that the register is credible. So how come they are now talking about bloating of register? Parliament has already approved the cost of the new registration exercise and the procurement of a new biometric registration system estimated over 444 million CDs. The reasons why the Electoral Commission believes that it is time for the country to get a new voters register. Um, first of all, uh, the EC is saying that it is costing the Commission more to replace falling parts of old devices as compared to procuring a brand new system with warranties. Also, it is saying the failure rate for the biometric register uh, during the 2016 registration period was 47%. And the current BVRs have almost met the end of life, which means they've been overused, they've been used over and over again. At point D, it is saying that the current biometric verification device was unable to verify a number of voters electronically, resulting in a number of manual verification during voting day. Now, E and D are almost saying the same thing as uh, the B v BVDs and BVRs also had fingerprint verification issues during the election in 2016. Now for point F, 
significant number of the BVDs and the BVRs cannot be repaired as where they've gotten to, there's nothing that can be done about it. The software running on the current system, which is the operating system applications and databases are outdated and out of support. And the staff of the Electoral Commission were not trained on the current solution per the contractual terms to enable the Commission take over after the expiration of the contract. So these are some of the reasons why the EC believes that it is time for a new voters register. In effect, what they are saying is this, that it costs less to procure a new voters register than to replace the old one that we have.